Best on the Garden Guru. It's all about explosive summer color in your garden. It's a top 10 boomers. I said bloomers, not boomers. And Margie, the Garden Guru here, along with the great king of green, Jerry White. And this is all about the top 10 bloomers for summer in your garden. And boy, do we have a lineup for them, don't we, Jerry? We do. You've been in your garden in the summertime and there's just no color there. Well, let me tell you, you need to loosen up close because here's some of the best ones that are going to give you a bloom pr practically all summer. Number nine. That's right, one of my favorites. Number nine, it's the banana. Now, Jerry, I think you've gone a little over the top with this one. This is not a bloomer. I don't think I'm gonna let, be able to let you just go ahead and make up the list anymore. These bananas are not one, can't be one of the top 10 bloomers. Bloomer? We, we were supposed to do bloomers for this segment? Well, I thought we you were talking color. about- I thought, well, isn't this a beautiful color plant here? It is an absolutely beautiful color plant. And actually, we were talking that there are some varieties that do bloom. Actually, there are. There's a green leaf variety here. This is called Lazio Carpus. And this has a very large yellow flower. It could be almost the uh, size of, of a pineapple or larger. So it actually does bloom very nicely. But I really like these red leaf varieties, even though they really don't bloom. The color from the leaves is absolutely spectacular. You can grow it in the full sun. You can put it in partial shade. In fact, with this beauty, if you put it in more shade, it's actually darker red. Wow. And with these, I believe this particular variety is a little more cold tolerant, isn't it? That's right. You know, a lot of the bananas are very tender, but this red leaf variety is going to take down to about 23 degrees. This takes it down to about 20 to 19 degrees. So in many areas, these can do very well. And the thing about banana, if it gets out of range and it's really too big, you just hack it off anywhere and it's going to re-sprout because it's in the grass family. Exactly. And that's, that's really important. A lot of times we get it frozen back during the winter months and you say, hey, this this plant looks terrible, I'm just gonna tear it out. What we don't typically do is around uh, January or February, if you're in a year-round growing climate and starts to warm up, not a real worry about a freeze, then go ahead and cut it because these babies can get really big. So you can take it down to, you know, eight to 10 inches, a foot off the ground, cut it off and it'll sprout right out of the center because like Jerry said, it is kind of like a grass. And if you happen to be in a cold climate, it doesn't matter, put it in a pot, you can throw it in the garage in the winter time and have it sprout out and it really gives you that beautiful tropical look, a plant that's easy to grow. And while the flowers aren't spectacular, the color is. sure is. And that's the red banana. Want to double the blooms on your plants? Plant with Gardener.